If you're still using 11 Labs for text-to-speech like I do, hold on because a new player just entered the game. Minimax just released a text-to-speech model that's not only cheaper but comes with over 300 voices and the best part it delivers professional level voice cloning that actually preserves tone and accents. For creators like us who run faceless channels, voiceover quality can make or break a video. And if I can get that same professional quality while spending less, you already know I'm paying attention. In this video, I'll show you three things. How to find the best voices for your projects, how to generate high quality voiceovers from simple text, and how to clone your own voice just like I'm doing right now in this video. If you want to follow along, use the link in the description to grab a free account. New users get 10,000 free credits, three free voice cloning slots, and all of this comes in at about 25% cheaper than other tools. Let's get started. Once you sign in, you'll be brought to the home page. On the left-hand side, you have the voice library, text-to-speech, music, voice design, voice clone, and voice isolator. We'll start by reviewing the voices in the library. Click on voice library and you'll see a wide range of voices. At the top, you can filter by language, accent, gender, and age. Once you find a voice you like, just click the button to add it to your collected voices. Let me show you a few voices I've already saved. Here I have three voices. Let's play the first one. It was a chilly autumn morning when Alice stepped outside. The clouds were moving quickly, as if the wind was in a hurry. Okay, and now the second one. The greatest knowledge often comes from listening more than speaking. This one sounds really good. Now, how do you actually use it to create text to speech? That is your voiceover for videos. Click on text to speech. Here you can paste in your script. I've pasted in a short story I generated. For this test, I'll use their latest model called Speech 2.5 HD Preview. We'll also check out Speech 02 HD, which is popular for cloning. Make sure your selected voice is active here. You can also adjust voice modifiers, emotions, and speed. For now, let's just generate the voice first before making in any tweaks on once upon a time in a quiet little village there was a curious child who loved exploring the forest one morning she discovered a hidden path covered in golden leaves at the end of the path stood an old wooden door with no walls around it she hesitated for a moment then slowly pushed it open the modifiers you can make a voice lighter or deeper depending on your project i like this feature because sometimes you want a deeper tone for documentaries or a lighter one for other types of content emotions include happy sad fearful or neutral i'll leave this one on neutral speed and pitch can also be adjusted but i'll keep them as they are let's regenerate and listen once upon a time, in a quiet little village, there was a curious child who loved exploring the forest. Okay, it changed slightly since we made the voice softer. I'll reset it back to zero. It's important not to stray too far from the default settings, otherwise the voice can start sounding unnatural. Now that we've tested text to speech using the Speech 2.5 model, let me show you how to design a custom voice in case you don't find what you're looking for in the library. Click on Voice Design. Here, you can type in a prompt describing the voice you want. For example, I'll create a classic narrator, which is great for storytelling or documentaries. As you can see, it generates a detailed prompt of the voice, and you can either use that or write your own. This text will be previewed when you generate the voice. Let's click Generate and test a few. On the brink of chaos, one man dared to stand against the tide. This is his story. A tale of courage, betrayal, and the enduring power of the human spirit. In a world teetering on the brink of chaos, one man dared to stand against the tide. In a world teetering on the brink of chaos, one man dared to stand against the Okay, I like the third one, so I'll select it, give it a name, and save it. Let me just call this voice Jeff Deep. I'll set it as male, English, leave the description as it is, and click Save Voice. 
all right it's now saved under my voices that's how you generate a specific voice if you've designed it yourself now the feature i'm really excited to show you is voice cloning this allows you to clone your own voice with as little as a 30 second clip and it actually preserves the richness of your tone when you click on voice clone you can either upload a file or record audio directly from your microphone or phone let me quickly upload an audio file here once uploaded you can choose to remove background noise and enable accent optimization if you enable accent optimization it will ask you to upload an extra three to seven second sample so it can properly detect your accent for now i'll leave this off next i'll confirm and generate the voice once it's done it appears here from there just click confirm give it a name and save it since I already cloned my voice earlier, let me show you what it sounds like. I'll head back to my voices in the library and play it. You I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. You can hear it sounds exactly like me. And this is the voice I'm using for this tutorial. Now let's try using it in text to speech. I'll test it with the speech 2.5 HD preview model first. On a time in a quiet little village, there was a curious child who loved exploring the forest. This sounds really good, very impressive. Next, let's test the Speech 02 HD model to compare. Once upon a time in a quiet little village. Personally, I prefer how Speech 2.5 HD handles my voice. The Speech 02 HD isn't bad, but the 2.5 model mimics my voice much more naturally. Once you're happy with your generated voiceover, just click download and it saves straight to your computer. Before we wrap up this tutorial, let me quickly show you their new music feature. When you click on it, you'll see that it currently supports one model and allows you to generate about 90 seconds of music. You have two options, simple, where you type in a description of the kind of song you want and advanced, where you can paste in your own lyrics. Let's try the simple option and type in adventure song. With intense sound, click on create. Okay, it's generated. Let's play it and hear how it sounds. Leaving shadows under a wide sky. Whispers of destiny. Not bad at all. Here you can rename it, reuse it, or download it. Of course, you can play around, test different options, and see what works best. That's the general overview of Minimax Audio. Now let's take a look at the pricing, which is one of the reasons it caught my attention, because anything that helps us save money, I'm definitely going to share. The free plan starts you off with 10,000 credits. With that, you can generate up to 40 voices in multiple accents across a variety of unique tones. It also gives you a limited trial to test features like speech, emotion, and language. On top of that, you can clone up to three voices with as little as a 10 second sample, just like I showed you earlier. So overall, it's a pretty generous free plan if you're just getting started and don't want to pay for a higher tier plan right away. That's Minimax in action, affordable, powerful, and packed with features that make creating faceless videos so much easier. Whether you're building documentaries, tutorials, or storytelling channels, having high quality voiceovers without breaking the bank is a game changer. If you want to try it yourself, don't forget to use the link in the description. And if you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more AI tutorials, and drop a comment letting me know which voice you'd use for your channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.